Nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy takes advantage of the magnetic properties of certain atomic nuclei to provide us with unique visual spectra. Proton NMR visualizes the magnetic activity of protons, which is especially useful for synthetic organic chemists, providing a source of evidence for the presence of desirable organic compounds that is efficiently obtained. To prepare your sample for NMR analysis, you will need an NMR tube, an NMR cap, your sample, deuterated chloroform, a small sample vial, a spatula, and a pasture pipette. Transfer a small amount of your sample to your clean sample vial. Dissolve your sample in approximately a pipette full of deuterated chloroform. Be careful not to contaminate the chloroform with your sample. Make sure that your sample is fully dissolved before proceeding. Transfer your sample dissolved in deuterated chloroform to your NMR tube and bring it to the NMR laboratory. Do not touch your NMR tube with your bare hands as the oils on your hands can interfere with your readings. Insert your NMR tube into an NMR spinner. Do not touch the NMR spinner below the sticker around the rim with your bare hands. Press your NMR tube lightly into the sample position gauge until the NMR tube touches the bottom of the gauge. Remove your sample from the gauge and insert your sample into one of the slots on the automation carousel in the instrument. Open the Bruker Top Spin application on the desktop computer and navigate to the command bar located at the bottom of the program interface. Type ICON and press the Enter key on the keyboard. Select Automation and then NMR. Press OK. Enter the password Top Spin and click the green arrow. This will open the automation directory. Double click the line that corresponds to the number of the slot that you inserted your sample into. In the first box, add forward slash brown holland to the listed directory. In the second box, type your first initial followed by your last name. In the third box, type the number of your run. If this is your first run, you will enter the number one. 
In the fourth box, you will select your solvent. I will be selecting CDCl3 or deuterated chloroform since we use deuterated chloroform to dissolve our sample. In the fifth box, you will select your experiment. Since I am performing a proton NMR, I will select N proton as my experiment. Double click on the title box and add a title. A good title will include your name or initials and the name of your compound. Click the Submit button at the bottom of the screen. Click the Start button at the top of the screen. Uncheck all of the boxes, enter the number corresponding to the slot you placed your sample into, and click the Start button. Your sample will automatically be drawn up into the instrument and your compound will be scanned. If you receive an error message when automating your run, there's an easy fix for this. Double click on the red letter shown at the bottom right hand corner of the program interface. This will bring up a window. Select the lift option. Your sample will be lifted out of the instrument. You will need to start the automation process over again, deleting your current automation credentials and treating this as a new run. The automated process will take approximately a minute and a half. After the run is completed, navigate in the directory to your spectrum file and drag it out onto the program screen. Navigate to the Process tab and select the Process Spectrum option. Select Adjust Phase. Select Calibrate Axis. Sometimes, when you're attempting to calibrate the axis, you will encounter a problem where the function will not work. To fix this problem, navigate to a different spectrum, drag it to the program interface, then redrag your spectrum to the program interface. Select the peak closest to the PPM value of 7.26. When prompted with a box on the screen asking for a frequency value, enter the value 7.26 and click OK. Select Pick Peaks. Highlight the peaks you would like to display a frequency value for. Click the Save and Return button. Click Integrate. Highlight the peak you will be using to calibrate your integrals. Right-click on the integral value below the peak and select Calibrate Current Integral. Enter your value for the integral in the box and click OK. Highlight the rest of your peaks. Click the Save and Return button. Navigate to the Publish tab. Select Plot Layout. Delete the Bruker logo and Information tab by selecting them and pressing the Delete button on the keyboard. Expand your spectrum. Click the Print button. Select your printer and click OK.